just monitor the, uh, the comments, make sure that people can hear okay. All right. Yep. Thank you. Yes. Uh, all right, then. So uh, we're going to open the select board meeting at 5, and we're going to get a motion to sign the warrants. Motion to sign those warrants. I will second that. All in favor? So I'd like to approve the minutes then for March 9th. And I know I was here on the 4th, so I'll approve March 4th as well. We're doing both? Yeah, just the minutes. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor? There you go. Okay. So those are the tonight's non old business. Uncle Kippy, look your license renewal. Okay, so I have a motion to accept, and uh, nothing's changed. Yeah. Motion to accept Uncle Kippy's, uh, Kippy's Corner light, uh, liquor license. Uh, I think you can sample, but I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have. Second. All in favor? So you're just doing beer and wine, man. Oh, uh, just beer. Right. Beer and wine? Oh. And then you're down to just take out? No, we're down to nothing. We're down to nothing. Nothing. I'll put a window in there if I'm gonna have. Oh, okay. I got guys coming looking tomorrow and gonna give me estimates and stuff like that. For what? For takeout. Takeout, because you can't, you can't. Oh, to do a takeout. Yeah, you can't have. Oh. Yeah, because it might be going wrong. The president said July. Yeah, between July or August. Look into it first. Yeah, always. There's all kinds of restaurants. I know there is, but who's gonna monitor that? Not the fire, you know. Yeah. I don't even want to do that. Mm, well, maybe you don't want to be exposed. Better to yeah. be outside in the fresh right. air for yourself, yeah. for your personal self. Yeah. They said they're going to close the border off. They did, they did. this morning. Yeah. Did that this morning. For, to non essential yeah. travel. Well, they have to come across. Yeah, yeah. so they can come across. And some of them have got anyway. dual citizenship, so they can yeah. come across. Did you and see I the Coast Guard boat that was uh, just loitering out there to kill? Uh, probably monitoring the whole thing. Loitering. Just void Okay, we need a motion. Make a motion. We sign the sewer commitment of thirty-seven thousand eight hundred three hundred eighty-four dollars and thirty-six cents. I will second that. All in favor? Oh, wow. We can wait, right? You guys are all set. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you want your copy of it now? I'm waiting for the call from the office. I've been waiting all week. Thank you for coming. Stay, stay healthy. Stay strong, stay healthy. Thank you for the call. Oh, yeah. Okay. Have a good one. Thank you. 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 Guys, get a chance to look at the proclamation. Oh, it's good. Yep. I read it online. Yes, she sent it out. Okay. Yep. So the next would be appoint election person selfish committee. So I guess. <laughs> okay, here's something that we can now uh, do. Renee wrote, they asked for a letter from us saying that Select Board of the Town of Beckett requested, requesting the United States Campobello Island, New Brunswick, be allowed to remain open. The Town of Lubeck relies on Campobello for mutual aid services for ambulance and fire support. Both Lubeck and Campobello are small communities that rely on each other in emergency situations. So I make a motion to sign this. Absolutely. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Okay, so I made a motion. They should have made a second. And we're signing this for you. We didn't know where the, the election clerk people were. Before, so we went to something else. Yeah. We've got election clerk people and um, a shellfish um, committee member. And I'd like to appoint Sheldon Lyons as Deputy Animal Control Officer. They're going to back each other up. 
Rhonda is the deputy shelter warden, and Sheldon so will be the deputy. So it's a motion for Sheldon yeah. Lyons to fill the position of deputy animal, animal control officer. I will second that. All in favor? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to make a motion to appoint Ann Seavey as an election clerk, Rachel Rubio as an election clerk, Gwendolyn Clover as an election clerk, Nancy Bagley as an election clerk, Margaret Bailey as an election clerk, Sonia Bailey as an election clerk, and I can have these in mind. Debbie Holmes as an election clerk, Rita Rose as an election clerk, and Joanne Keats as an election clerk. Oh, so moved. We don't have Tracy's hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got no Tracy here. Where was Tracy's hotel? It's supposed to be in the shelter. Okay. If you can make your motion, I'll go make up a paper. Okay. Make a motion, Tracy's hotel as a uh, shellfish committee. I will second that. Did we second this thing here? Because we made a mo I made a motion to do all that. Who seconded yeah, it? Dan seconded it. All in favor. So we're going to sign all this. We have all our cards. Yeah. So plenty to sign. Yeah. And we didn't sign it. I didn't. Did we sign that with elections in blue? Yes. Yeah. I don't um, remember doing it. Well, Dan did at least. Oh, one of them did. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did. That means I get a free drink. Yeah. I've never had an, any drinks, so I don't think it's we can We can adopt the road, or we have to have an ordinance. Carol, you made the motion to stop to uh, do the um, election clerks. Yes. Second. Right now we can seem to handle this, but when we get gets into summer, it's going to be a little crazy. Don't you think? Now, let me just, if anybody out there is watching, I just would like to say that we did close the town office, but if you want to pay a bill or your taxes, you can pay on the phone. And this would be a good time to discuss the fact that it was brought to my attention that waiving the fee for credit cards from our end, which I think is two and a, two, two and a half percent, yeah, that true. we would go back to paying that because they can't come in in person. Yes. Yeah. that they want to pay over the phone so she can always mail it in because yeah. that would be for the time of the emergency. Absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. Okay, do that. What about vehicle registration? That's well, all of that is 30, doesn't, nothing expires until 30 days after the emergency is listed. So, oh, so that's what Governor Mills, I believe that's what I read. We made a, I made a motion that we waive the credit card fee and uh, Dan seconded it and we all voted. So, you know, so that if you want to pay by phone, now just, for just for the time of the emergency. Right. But I just want everybody to understand that the, we can't waive it, but the town will absorb it. Yes. We're going to cover it by a contingency. Right. Cost. It's not really yeah. a waiver. It's like, you don't have to pay it. We're going to pay it. Right. Who seconded? Dan. And then, um, what else were we talking about? I can't remember. Um, are you doing any other motions? Oh, no. Oh, Jason had a question about registration. Do you oh, want yes. to answer that? Yep. The, um, we can, the town office will be staffed for people that can want to re-register if they want to. But ta the state has allowed for a 30-day um, great grievance, really, a grace period, for even after the expiration of their current registration. If it's, in, if it's expiring this month. It doesn't go for people that have expired before. Starting today, right. I believe, she signed it. That but our town office will be manned and staffed by clerks who will answer the phone. People just call in. Uh, people can email us, a copy of their, their um, insurance card, mm -hmm. mileage, they pay by phone, the credit card, and we'll mail them a copy of the registration and their sticker. If we do trace it, I don't no, know. No, it's the computer coming up. Cool. I just know that will be one of the big questions. So let's just read the proclamation while we have a little bit of time to see somebody saw it. Due to the imminent threat of a pandemic of coronavirus COVID-19, the town of Quebec is issuing this emergency proclam proclamation on March 18, 2020. This proclamation is to declare a civil emergency exists in all sections of the town. As of March 19, 2020, all municipal departments will be staffed but closed to the public until further notice. The town office will be um, staffed to assist 
public would need via phone and email. This includes general assistance. Please call the office at 733-2341 in accordance with Governor Janet Mills' State of Emergency Proclamation. There shall be no gatherings of more than 10 people. Therefore, the special town meeting scheduled for this evening has been canceled. All non-essential meetings are canceled at the Lubeck Fire Hall until further notice. The Emergency Operations Center will be located at the Lubeck Town Office. The public should reference the Center of Disease Control website at cdc.gov for current instructions. And um, there is an ordinance, uh, emergency management policy that allows the chair of the select board, uh, the emergency management director, which is Renee, and the fire chief to have made that proclamation today. Of course, we did tell the select board that we're doing that. So we needed to do that so that we could cancel the special town meeting. Nobody felt comfortable coming with 25 people, yeah. especially when the governor came out today and said no more than 10 people. So that I didn't want that to, nobody wanted that, anybody exposed. That didn't necessarily have to do that later. I just read the proclamation when you were gone. Adopt a road posting ordinance. Okay, I guess in our packets are the uh, road posting ordinance that we can adopt, and then once that's adopt, we adopted, we can then post something that says, here it is, Town of Lubeck Ordinance Restricting Vehicle Weight and Posted Road. Look, did you get this from like, somebody else? That came from MMA. MMA, thank you. Go. So obviously that's probably okay. <coughs> It gives us an authority to, there is going to be quite a bit of construction going on, so I'm not sure how that works, if there's a heavy equipment has to come to either the sidewalk project or State Harbor, but is this an, well, we term. must adopt the ordinance, and then it's up to us what we, what road we post, and for what reason. Right. It goes through the select board. It comes yeah. through the select board. Ricky will come to me with a suggestion, I'll bring it to you guys, and you guys will be the ones to post the road. So we'll need to have reasons why we're posting right. it or anything like that. Is there he a has concern one about right now? He has a concern about a, uh, a town road that is a dirt road and a possible logging operation <laughs> going on. And with the, the, the melting season right now, it's not a lot frozen. So. Okay, so just like there we used maybe a month where it's really mushy and they just don't want heavy. Yeah, yeah you can't close them down for long periods. So this all, yeah, this would always be... Um, Contingent on our our agree our agreement. So and this one is an ordinance that the select board do have the authority to adopt without the legislative body. Now Most my ordinances have to go before the town. Yeah. So. My understanding is that a posting does not include fuel shops. I don't imagine it includes or essential right. 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 essential right. services. Right. Right. You're actually listed as an essential service. Yes. Yep. She um, right. Janet Mills wrote. Yeah. Listed all the essential yeah. services. But I'm saying a road doesn't, doesn't cover. Right. So you're not, cover, it's yeah. not bound right. by that. It's like some private individual who wants to make money off and doesn't yep. want to ruin the roads because they want to do it at a time that isn't oh, good for the roads. The, uh, the exemptions are on section <coughs> 4 of the ordinance. Following vehicles are exempt under state law. Any vehicle delivering home heating fuel or organic animal bedding and operating in accordance with the permit, blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, any vehicle transporting well drilling equipment. <coughs> there's a whole bunch. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. exemptions. Following vehicles are also exempt. At 23,000 pounds or less. Vehicles that are registered 23,000 pounds or less. Um, emergency vehicles. Well, we're going to we'll go by solid waste. Yeah. You, you will find that there's most people will check anyway when you see a road posted. They'll yep. call you. Right. I don't have a problem with it. Okay, so did you want to make a motion to adopt the ordinance? I'll make a motion to adopt the, the ordinance. I'll, okay. I'll okay. second the motion to adopt okay. the ordinance. Okay, all in favor? All righty. So let's see now, where are we? Uh, Trash on the side of the road. No, open fire hall painted. Uh, Oops, and there and there and there. We got one. We got one, well that's we easy. Well, we survived the fisherman storm, didn't we, so far? It's been enough days. I'm like, oh, we were with a lot of people down there, weren't we? We sure were. Anybody rest there? Did you stop out of the way back? None. 
well, maybe a, maybe an Irving. But I bought uh, hand sanitizer there. So. <laughs> she's well. Um, we don't have Rachel here tonight because she's self quarantined because she went to Mexico. Even though it wasn't one of the listed countries, she felt that she would quarantine herself that's, for 14 days. That's very smart. Really. Well, I don't think she wanted to be responsible for hurting no. anybody. You know. No. It's always a good idea. We like to see our fourth and follow the rules. I, on the other hand, never got to go anywhere, so I don't have to quarantine myself. Oh, well, next year. Well, if you were quarantined, you wouldn't be here. That's right. They asked me if I, I didn't get to go anywhere. I didn't get to go anywhere. I said, yes, for the last 30 years. <laughs> I asked someone to tell me, I said, yeah, I'm just hunkered down with everyone else, and we sit at home, have, you know, a glass of wine and all that. And someone sent me a picture, and they just in socializing, that two bottles of wine. <laughs> oh, Mary, good for you because it's an alcohol. You need alcohol to clean the hands, right? There you go. You can. So, what's the difference? Splurge and splash all over, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's an expensive uh, hand sanitizer. <laughs> I will tell you, downstate is terrible. My mother said they couldn't even get a loaf of bread down there for a long time. Downstate? Actually, one of those was down in the Belfast area. Because we don't eat, you know, oh. we don't eat meat and stuff like that. So we went down to Hanover a couple of days ago. The entire meat section was empty, except for the Beyond Meat burgers and sausages. And we just said thank you, thank you. <laughs> you just got whatever. We got what we, we do have some another some, another thing we can pass. We <coughs> sent home um, requested that one of our employees who falls in the category of high risk would be mandatorily sent home for 15 days with pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we will reevaluate August first, April first. Totally April first. We just don't want yes, that responsibility. Absolutely. So, so, so I need a motion that we can yeah. do that. Yes. 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 We said yes. Second. Second. All in favor? So what? I'm sorry. What was that motion for? <laughs> well, I didn't hear it elaborated. We sent uh, the due to health. Is, we, we had an employee. We had an employee who falls under a high um, high, high risk. risk category, 60 and older, with with a um, mm -hmm. underlying health condition, yeah. that was sent home for a mandatory 14 okay. day. So this has already day. happened. Well, we it doesn't. It just started at four, but if if I didn't get the motion, it would be back at work tomorrow. But I needed a motion. And, and we don't board. we don't want that. Okay. No. Hmm. When you have a respiratory problem, trust. Me. And we got tons of big spreadsheet <laughs> projects we can send. <laughs> so and we will reevaluate April first. The, the the state has given us a form seven to fill out for any um, expenditures we incur. The emergency um, team that has been. Um, brought together and it's going to be working out of here. Could exact, could actually, uh, we could purchase equipment, you know, uh, hand sanitizers. We can get certain things to help the town. Uh, of course, we, right now the EMTs and people are getting them, but things like that I see that we could pass those out and because I don't, I think it's going to last longer than two weeks. Mm -hmm. So, This is the bid. Yes, it is. We pass the motion for the employee that fall in the high risk category to get home, go home for 14 motion days. Motion by. Uh, like I didn't second it. Yeah, you did not second it. Some those guys. Yeah. Get it. Those guys. Pick, <laughs> how many days? Pick them. Pick one of the other. 14 days. Yes. Till the next till our next meeting. Okay. This bid is for. For Kenny and Sons. Quotation to paint labor of three men for the Lubbock Town Office meeting room is thirty nine hundred dollars. I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna defer we, to you guys. Really this room. This room. The bathroom. The trim. Trim outside. No. Nope. Trim is all inside. The baseboard. I mean, I wasn't here last. No, this was just something between the fire chief and I, and we got oh, okay. funds. I think I'm going to defer to the fire chief to see whether to yeah. see if they want to continue looking for quotes. Yeah. Have Can we have call him? Seems kind of I think we should, I think we should Seems continue. Yeah. It's rough, Kenny. But, I mean, I don't know. Now that there's going to be a lot of work, it would this would be a really good time to paint this room, since we can't have any meetings in right. here. So. 
Yeah, I think I would like to make a motion to defer the decision to okay. fire chief. Uh, is it not coming out of his budget? It is. Yeah. Well, then so I think he needs I'll to make it. Bang. I think Bobby needs to Yeah, something. all in okay. favor. Let him decide. I mean, the prices are not that bad. No, I mean, I don't know. That's why I said I'm deferring to you. I mean, if it gets it done with three people quickly, great. Yep. That sounds fine. Okay. Awesome. Did you have a second? I don't know. I can't remember. It's all in agreement. <laughs> all right, then. So the CDC update was Did we do much trash on the side of the road? Oh, we didn't do trash on the side of the road? I had a phone I call didn't... from a resident up in North Lebec that was concerned with the litter on the side of the road and just was frustrated. I told her um, I'd bring it to the select board. It's publicized. Um, encourage people to pick up the trash and we I told her about this the community pickups we have in May. There's another one in September for the beach. Um, it, we can put up a sign for no littering, that's about all you can do. It's an every springtime thing. Yeah. I mean it's just common yeah, sense. It just happens. Yeah. I did see Mr. Brown, Bob Brown, <clears throat> out there and that's I'm but sure that's a spot because everybody throws. There's stuff out right on that track. Mm. And I saw just the other day Bob Brown down there, and he filled up almost a pickup truck load yep. on his own time, yep. wow. picking up bottles, cans, really? and trash that people throw up. Wow. It's, 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 like it's, I usually do an annual Dixie to County, because yeah. yeah. it's like two and a half miles down and back. I'll do four or five tall trash bags. We, keep, we try to keep the upper side of the road. Yeah. But I do know there's a, a, a fine establishment that generally, even if you just find yourself picking up some trash and tying it up and leaving it on the side of the road, I know there's a fabulous business that pick will it up. just pick it up out of the kindness of their heart. Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I, that was the kindness of her heart. Yeah, that's right, right. But I did see Bob out there. He, he worked all day. Yeah, oh. Did a phenomenal job. Yeah. And if everybody that's did really that, nice driveway to, to driveway. That's really the thing. Good. Just well, driveway just, to driveway. We need to get a big cleanup kind of mentality going. In we soon. do, because that one down there. But when where, the snow finally melts, that's when everything shows up. I think yeah. I can kind of speak to the cleanup stuff like Bill. Well, you know, it's all donated to. <clears throat> we started off two dumpsters down on, on uh, the old dump road. They fill them up over two. Now they're down to a half a dumpster. Uh, the town cleanup. I mean, two, three, six air dumpsters every single year. We don't even fill one dumpster anymore. Right. And it's not to lack of turnout. I think it's because the word has gotten mm. out. So you see improvement. I see a huge improvement Good. in the last four or five years. When do you think we should have a cleanup day? We should designate a day. We should make a motion. They, everybody picks their different days. Yeah. What is the town that does? They do like two or three days, and what they'll do is they'll wrap it up in a white bag, and I almost see it down the center of the road. It's down as you're heading into Hancock County. And I think it's A, to remind everyone to do it on that day. Yeah. But they like, it was right on the side and some places right in the middle of the road and so you'd slow down because you're like, what are all these well, Wouldn't bags? that be a good idea to have one of these done? Well, like we maybe have, April 16th or something? I can tell you, we work a lot 16th. with the, uh, April 16th. we oh, work yeah, a lot. Day after tax too. We work a lot with a nonprofit landowner and they have their own cleanup days, and we donate for those. And there might be three or four different cleanup times. Then the town always has one or two. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Can we have one town one that? Well, when, when would you think would be a good, Jason? Well, they used to do it when they, the kids were in school yeah, because right. the kids got involved. Yeah. Oh, but the kids phenomenal. may or may not be. We going usually back have school. a recycling right. committee coordinate with the school, so we don't know if we're going to have. Yeah. And it's on the agenda tonight. What's your Why don't we just have day? a day? It'll give them people something to do yeah. at our cleanup. Yeah. But it would have to be one day so that the, the town can coordinate. The can coordinate. Yeah. And what happens? Do you give us a dumpster yeah. and the town people collect it, put it in the dumpster? Yeah. And then you just take the they dumpster. They can use any dumpster we have in town when we do a town cleanup. Some things might be frozen still. I know. Yeah, I didn't well, not, not, not yet. yet. The end of April, maybe. Oh, and we let them, especially when school kids were doing it, use any one town, any dumpster we have in town, because I mean, 
something that's maybe late well, April or mid May prior to Memorial Weekend and then the yeah. marathon and all those How about things. May 2nd? It's a Saturday. May well, like, public works is going to work on May 2nd? We did it every weekend before. Right? Yeah, we did the whole weekend, like Friday through yeah. Sunday. Right. And so they can come Monday, Monday and pick up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's do that then. We'll do it on Friday, so May 1st, yeah, May, May Day. Okay, first. May Day. So we have the motion. Yep. Did you second? Yes, I did. Okay, Just now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, well I guess we have no committee updates for now. And, um,. Everyone needs to just, um, one of the things I was thinking is if you just limit your traveling to essentials. I mean, I know everybody's going to feel a little stir crazy, but get out, walk, get some fresh air. We're, yeah. We enjoy a really beautiful 92 miles of shoreline. Nobody says you can't go and walk on the beach. I mean, you can't go for a little walk, one of the trails, and... I mean, listen, the people yeah. that are in the cities, they can't go out. I listened to a, it was a so, couple of doctors, and one, one doctor, the, the prominent one uh, who was saying, one of the things you do is, is act like you do have it, and what you would do if you did, even if you don't. So you're that always protective of what you're doing, what you're touching. And the other one says is what you can do during times like this is, you know, obviously a lot of it's a respiratory. If you do smoke, why not commemorate this and stop? You know, and if you don't exercise, maybe yes, go out and, and, and just walk for half an hour. And as people know in this town, you can you can walk in the middle of July, walk some of these trails, and you'll even in our busiest season, you'll never pass anybody. So get out and exercise, get some fresh air, and uh, we will be also we will be having our you will be meeting as selectmen. And televising it, and you can call 733-2341 for any public comments. And there'll be always at least three of us here to conduct a meeting. If we do have to do that to carry on the business of the town, and uh, Suzette and Renee and my, I'll be there. I'll pop in and out of this town office like I do, and they'll be here to answer calls and help. And Bobby Hood has already been here two or three times, get, advising us on how to work the emergency management. So if you have any questions at all, we have all kinds of referrals, referrals, forms, sheets, phone numbers, anything we can do to help. If you're having to stay home, call. If you need somebody to get you groceries, we'll, we'll try to find people to donate time to do that. How's the OC, the pantry, so, really yeah. stepped up? You know, this is a small community and uh, with our neighbors, Across the way, Campobello, we hope that they'll be able to come as well over the bridge. We're working on that. The Lions Club has also stepped forward to help in assistance with things. So, so you're not alone. Lots of community members are coming forward, yeah, and we appreciate going. it. Uh, the Cops Cook Institute, they've contacted us. So let's hope that we don't have any cases at all. We don't right now. There's one in Hancock County, and that's... It's not confirmed on the CUC yet, but it's... Penobscot County. Penobscot, yeah, that's the one. And there may be one in Hancock. So, so hopefully it doesn't come here. You know, we're just a little, that's a little community here. And if we all um, pay attention to washing our hands and, and not are, going out unnecessarily, and maybe we, can, maybe we can beat it. Stay home. And stay home and try to, yep. Do yeah. not go near older folks. Even as bad as you trust me, as bad as you want to go to your folks, don't. Call them. That's you right. Call them on the phone. You can call them. You can do that. Facebook. FaceTime. Uh, FaceTime where you see the person's face. So anyway, uh, we'll be here in two weeks. And the town office is open, but not to the public. It's open for phone calls and referrals. And good luck, everybody. Godspeed. Motion to adjourn. Before we close, I do have a couple questions. Uh, the first one, um, you canceled the special town meeting tonight. Do you have a projected date where it will be reset? There's just no way on it. No way of knowing. There's nothing on there that isn't that is so critical that we can't wait. We'll have to wait Where's now. I mean, we were hoping to get all that done because there was just some housekeeping. protocols, housekeeping, yeah. accepting grant monies and things, but. Um, 
We will definitely get a special town meeting when we can meet with more than 10 people. When they, when they, yeah. when they emergency is elected. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the second question, is there any sense as to what the emergency will do to the sidewalk construction and therefore impacting the marathon? Uh, the, we are meeting with the uh, Washington County um, Washington Street sidewalk group outside Friday and there and we are going ahead with the sidewalk construction if there is any delays we will let the public know but as far as we know everyone is on board with constructing it so yeah. at this point no delays are anticipated there are no anticipated I, I delays spoke, at this I point I spoke with the manager the other day you can't ask him no and and he off. said it's, they're going to go ahead. I mean, just, I mean there's nothing going to slow them down on that. Governor Mills' mandate today did not involve it doesn't construction. Matter. No, no. So. they're outdoors. They're not going to be face to face. As long as they can get supplies. Yeah. And they, they do have a vendor locally that they're going to get all their gravel from. Yeah. Mm, that was definitely one of our concerns. So that was a good question. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, so we you. should have some updates on that on uh, the ne our next meeting. And if you see people wandering around Friday over there at noontime, it's the group looking at the, uh, the sewer, the water, looking at all. Just they're once over. They're they're coming up from Augusta to uh, sign off on, I guess, the notice to proceed. Yeah. So uh, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All right, second. All in favor. Be well, everybody. Okay, Safe. yes. Be well. Fair be well. That's where it came from, probably from the plague days. You signed a proclamation regarding the mm -hmm. cross border. Can I copy that? Oh, yeah. The name of the name. As of. Oh, you know what? It's probably.